This is 7 News at 5.30. First up here at 5.30, families of murder victims asking for answers. They want to know who tore their families apart and why. Hello, everybody. Several shootings happening at the same apartment complex, some of them turning deadly. Devastated relatives believe there's a security problem and they're taking action. Seven's Jessica Vallejo is live in Miami Gardens with their painful plea. Jessica. The families of these victims have filed a lawsuit. They say two lives lost in just one year is unacceptable. Families of murdered victims. He was in the prime of his life when he was ripped from this earth and us. Still mourning the loss of their loved ones. My son would have turned 21 and said of today, Instead of being filled with joy and celebration, I'm speaking here with you about all the memory of my son. Back in January of 2023, Edwin Dixon, who was simply visiting a friend, was gunned down at the Cedar Grove Apartments. Then, six months later, Tabaris White was shot and killed outside his home. By the end of the year, another person was shot and injured at the same property. Two lives lost within a year, and the families say it's unacceptable. Every apartment owner and manager needs to take responsibility for safety and security of their guests. They say there was not enough security at the time of all three incidents and have now filed a lawsuit, hoping the Cedar Grove Apartments will make necessary investments to save lives. Violent crime on this property was absolutely foreseeable, and it happened time and time before. Unfortunately for these families, the apartment complex Cedar Grove refused to acknowledge that duty, refused to acknowledge the responsibility. The lawyers representing the families interviewed the property manager. Did you increase the hours of security yards work in the property? Definitely. No. No extra cameras were added, nor off-duty police officers. These families know that they can't undo what happened. But their hope is that by doing these, they send a message to other apartment owners, to other property owners, that when you don't act responsibly in operating and managing your property, and something terrible happens, there's going to be consequences. Now, whoever did this is still out there. If you have any information, you are asked to call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers. That number, 305 471 tips. I'm Lev Mammy Gardens, Jessica Vallejo, 7 News.